You uh, often use CDs when you perform. Yep. Do you think it's over for vinyl now, or do you think it's sort of? I think vinyl will always be there. Vinyl is a niche market. Mm. It's never going to go away. Um, it sounds great, and you know, in a, in an ideal world, I would play nothing but records. But the thing is, times change, and with with the travel schedule that we have, and the amount of records that got lost, that was my reason for switching to CDs. Is because. My records kept getting lost, and 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 as a travelling DJ, to travel with CDs is uh, so much easier. I know a lot of people are going to go, you know what? You're not a real DJ if you play CDs. That's just bullshit. At the end of the day, it, it it is this in this day and age, to beat match is the last criteria for, for being a DJ. I mean, you, you're not even allowed to call yourself a DJ to beat match. And the CDJs are the same thing, man. It's just you know in a different medium. I don't care about the format. I care about the medium. I care about the sound. I don't care if it's on an iPod or if it's on a CD or a vinyl or on a computer. The only thing that I care about is what it sounds like. Yeah. And that's that's how it is. So I won't say vinyl is dying. They're still being sold quite a bit of vinyl records, but it's gonna, always going to be there. It's going to be a niche market, but yeah. it's definitely gone down. I was reading really recently bit. vinyl sales are up this year. That's due to rock music and their seven inches. Yeah. So um, yeah, all the indie kids are suddenly buying seven inches again. So actually, there's more vinyl records being sold this year or last year than you know since the mid '90s. But it's just because it's cool. <laughs> you famously made some comments about file sharing on Dogs on Acid. Is this something you still feel strongly about? And how do you think it's affecting the industry? It's killing it. It's murdering it completely. I mean, how do you think a music industry and a music genre as narrow as ours is going to survive without the support of the people in the scene. Mm. It's one thing to download, <coughs> excuse me, it's one thing to download, you know, a massive number one hit that's already sold like two million units, but to kill a record that potentially could have sold three and a half thousand by downloading it is, you know, you're not doing yourself any favours if you like that kind of music. And you know we gotta eat too, man. You know it's it's just like that. It is, even though how weird it sounds to a lot of people, there's still quite a, f a few of us that makes a living from drum and bass, and and we work really hard. And when people steal our music, we get pissed off, quite yeah. frankly. It's understandable. I fucking I can't stand it. You know I think it's fucking cheap and it's stupid, and we will never win. It's just how it is. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop fighting it. Fair play. You also made some comments about production. Do you think the standard is dropping or getting better? And in terms of production, what artists do you think have it just right at this moment in time? I mean, as far as the standard in production goes, everyone's gotten to like a decent, mediocre level, but nothing really pops out as being fantastic. Um, there's a lot of tunes sounding like other tunes. I mean, as far as subtitles goes, I probably get sent, I don't know, maybe 200, 300 tunes a week. And Maybe I'll play one of them, you know, maybe, actually I'll play maybe one a month. Um, you know, that's besides the stuff I get from other artists that I rate, obviously. Um, I think in general the production's kind of leveled itself out. Everyone's trying to have that big 200 hertz snare and, and get the mix loud and sidechain and pump in. And everyone just sounds like everyone. Um, some do it better than others, obviously, but I mean, for me, for someone new to come through and like blow my mind, it's, it's not very likely, man. There's, I'll relay on the on the old dogs still, um, but don't get me wrong, there are some wicked people. There's some Russians coming through at the moment that got some really sick stuff. Yeah. Um, but overall, I rely on yeah, anyone in particular. There's this guy called Infonics yeah. from Russia who's who's doing some stuff with Logical. I'm waiting for a tune called Anti Gravity. <coughs> got the nastiest drop that I've heard in a long time so, um, and you know there's German the, the Germans are always on it people like Enfect is coming up and, and you know Face has finally established himself but um, you know there's nothing at the moment incredibly exciting besides what we already know is out there yeah. there is a lot of good music about that I must say but and do I have any favorites at the moment I always love break stuff break is <coughs> never fails me. His, his tunes are nice and deep and rolling and understated and I love playing them. I also love comics and people like Deep Rich and mm -hmm. you know Noisy has done a couple of really good things. And, yeah. Um, Were you actually hiding in the grass on that Noisy video on the on the MySpace? 
I guess you'll never know. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, you know, it's more of the same really, but it doesn't mean that but there's not a lot of good stuff about it. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Man. No problem, man. Enjoy your set. Cool. Uh, I'm sure we will.